How's it going today? Today we're going to take pick uh five stocks for february make sure you like and subscribe i could pick these stocks review them i could put i could believe a link of my top 10 stocks for for 2021 we're gonna get right into it and everything like that i mean i i can't i'm a growth investor i kind of grow well i hate to label myself as anything because i do do that but that's kind of what this channel is it's kind of trying to find the next tesla or say, I hate to use that term, trying to find the next something or whatever. But anyway, I kind of look at these stocks as potential uh, changing. They're growing fast. Every single one of these are growing fast, leader of the industry. And we're going to get right into it. Um, the first one is Airbnb. A Airbnb. I mean, it's a, I mean, this thing is growing like a weed. I mean, we all know what AB, uh, Airbnb, I don't know why I keep calling it Airbnb. <laughs> I think that's the ticker symbol, I think. But anyway, we all know what Airbnb does. I mean, think about you rent your houses, you know, I mean, vacation homes. And I think this is going to get popular. I think the trend is in America, and let's sit back and, and think, and we can critique this and, and think about it. I mean, but I think the trend is a lot of people are going to buy homes and a lot of people won't. And I, what I mean by that, it could be very diverse. It's like the K-shaped kind of recovery. Because think about it. A lot of people are buying houses today. You can talk to any real estate agent. It's hard to buy a home right now. It's really, really hard to buy a home. Not because, you know, you can't get the loan or whatever. It's not really financial. You can have the money. And people still can't. Because it's such a low inventory. Nobody's really buying selling their homes anymore. So, I mean, I mean, maybe that could change. Maybe it won't. But then they know, well, I can, I'm not going to sell the damn thing. I'm just going to keep it. It's paid off and I'll just rent it out. And I'm going to use ABM, Airbnb, <laughs> ABNB, but Airbnb to rent it out. I mean, think about it. And this thing is growing like a weed. I know it had some trouble with coronavirus, but I think coronavirus has kind of passed it. I mean, this thing is, is growing. I think it was, what, $4 billion in revenue. I think it was going at almost 100%. I mean, this thing is growing. And that's a massive market. Think about it. Everybody needs a place to live. And this is kind of the what I call maybe the Uber of real of real estate. It's kind of like the new way to to do things. People don't get hotels anymore; they just get Airbnb. So essentially, you know, I think this is a changing thing. I mean, this thing is getting big, and a lot of people, like I said, that's just a, how I view real estate. I mean, maybe I could be wrong with this, but I think Airbnb will be a generate. Now, the only thing that scares me with Airbnb is. Well, first the coronavirus, but I, I, I think past that, I think four years from now, the coronavirus be something that happened and it was gone. I think it's slowly kind of fade now. I looked at the case count and stuff like that. Looks like it's going down a little bit. It might come spiking back up, but for the most part, I think the coronavirus with the vaccines and all this, I think eventually people get vaccinated and it eventually go away or everybody could get it and then not die. And then it goes on. You know, I'm not going to try. I'm not trying to downplay. It's still a serious thing and it can be serious. But I think it's going to be over. And I think people be traveling. And this is kind of how you do it. You know, you get your. So I think Airbnb is saying, but it has some it has some risk to it. I'm not going to say it doesn't. And the valuation that's at it's a hundred billion dollar company. So maybe this is about one percent of your portfolio, maybe two percent. I mean, so I wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket on this thing, but I think Airbnb is definitely one to look at, kind of research a little bit, see if it's right for you, see if you can understand the business model and the outlook on it. And, you know, I mean, these socks, I just kind of recommend for you to guys to research. You know, I don't say go buy this now, you know what I mean? Because I'm not, I'm not going to do that, you know, because maybe you don't like real estate. Maybe you just don't understand it. You're more of a tech guy. You're more of a, uh, video game person you more consumption you know apple you know netflix and that's okay you don't 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 buy something you don't know that's kind of the the motif i always say but anyway now we're moving on to number two is a uh, uh salesforce i think this thing is done well and i think it's continuing to do well and i think almost salesforce the reason i'm adding it is i think it's almost undervalued now I mean, this thing is growing at 30%, and it's only, what, $180 billion company now? I mean, this thing, and it has 200... I mean, this thing is growing like a weed, becoming more profitable, growing. We're getting more... I mean, and almost Salesforce is almost a a uh, household name now. People are using it so much and all this. So, essentially, I think Salesforce is just one of these things. It was like at $200 a share. 
I think it's a good time to add maybe to a position if you have a small position. Or maybe if you're trying to get into cloud stocks, I think Salesforce should be. And honestly, if you're a growth investor, I think Salesforce should be in anybody's uh, portfolio. I mean, especially if you're into growing uh, your portfolio. Now, if you're trying to protect it, I can understand that. I'm not saying it should be in everybody's portfolio. And if you don't understand it, Maybe stay away from Salesforce until you learn about, but I think everybody should learn about the cloud because everything's kind of going that way. I think uh, it's a good idea to learn about it. Um, but, you know, I think Salesforce is undervalued at the, at the, what the valuations I'm looking at. And I did some discount cash flows. I think Salesforce is about as cheap as it's going to get at $200 a share unless sales just fall off a cliff and the company just goes belly up and a month <clears throat> which honestly not going to happen <laughs> so that's why i recommend salesforce i'm not going to get too deep into it i gotta leave my cloud stocks and i i've always and i think cloud computing will be the trend of the 20 of the 2020s and 2021s i think it will be a lot of people are betting on these electronic cars i mean that's okay but but i don't think that's really a necessity i don't think cars in the future everybody owning a car is a necessity you know what I mean? When you when there's alternatives like Uber that can do it cheaper, you know, it, it's going to be, we're going to sit back and, and think about Uber and, and, you know, the robo-taxis, which kind of, uh, you know, I mean, which is kind of weird. So, uh, but I think everybody's going to use cloud computers and digitalization. That's why I picked Salesforce and that's why I kind of steer away from some of that, them trends, like with the, the, the electronic vehicles and stuff like that, or the everything like that now the next one is zillow i haven't recommend this one it's been kind of a pick that i just kind of missed on it i i haven't really i mean you know haven't it was been a mistake not to recommend it i've always came across it and i was like you know what am i going with zillow I, no 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 and now i'm going to say yes zillow at 31 billion dollar company i could recommend this at like 10 but i i didn't it was kind of a mistake not to recommend it for those years and i i don't like the company i think real estate like i say you know real estate i think it'd be a very widening of the it's going to be a very big it's going to be you buy real estate or you're going to rent for the rest of your life i think that's what it is i think that's the mentality it's like marriage. I think people, the people that get married, they're going to get married probably multiple times. Or the people that don't get married, they won't get married at all. And it's going to be a very division. And I think that the people that ha that can get in real estate, I think maybe this is the time to get in real estate. I'm not saying you, you can do your own finances on that. But I think real estate, with the interest rates they are, where they are, I think this is probably got the goose. I think I compare this to... Maybe the early twenty, the only, the early two thousands, where people were like, a lot of millennials, if they're going to buy a house, they're probably looking at one right now. They've probably been saving up, like I said, and they might have lived with their moms, they might have lived with their parents, and maybe they saved up. They were saving up to buy a house eventually, and I think maybe time they were getting at the age a lot of people having kids. But anyway, I'm gonna maybe make a video on that of the growing economy and what I expect of it and why i think the dow jones could hit over a hundred thousand maybe i can make a dow hundred thousand video by the end of 20 maybe 2030 i think the dow jones could hit a hundred thousand and i think real estate will be that one like i'm not going to say everybody can buy a house and i know that and you know that's just that's just the way the economy works i mean but i think zillow is a good buy here I think Zillow, and you basically, basically what you're doing with Zillow is it's, well, first it's a website that, I mean, <coughs> that has, you can look at real estate, you can buy real estate off of it, they can hook you up with agents, they get a commission, all that, and then real, and Zillow actually makes, they actually buy real estate and sell it now. So, I mean, and it's all digitalization. So basically what Zillow is, it's kind of like Redfin. It's kind of like uh, FICO that I recommend. Down a little bit, but... Excuse me. But I think buying those free stocks and put it in your real estate... What I call like the real estate basket. I think over the long term in real estate, as it gets better, I think real estate is going to grow. And maybe I could, I should make a video of why I think the Dow will hit 100000 it's kind of complex, but anyway, that's my free stocks. It's Airbnb, Salesforce, and Zillow. 
I hope you like them. Leave a comment if you're going to buy one or you already own one and, and, and talk about how much you gain because I know Salesforce has done one of those done well. Airbnb just recently IPO'd and they were kind of hurting there for a while. And I was like, well, then I was looking at the numbers and I was like, you know what? That's a good company. That's going to last. It might pull back. It's kind of, it's, it has a high valuation. It might pull back. I'm not saying it won't, but I, I think that over the long term, I think these stocks will do well. Like I said, I hold them out for at least three years, and I think you should do the same. These are not trades. These are not, it, you know, when I when I say these are the February stocks, these are not stocks that you should buy for February and send it and sell at the end of February. I, I don't, uh, some people think that's what I do, but I, I buy and hold these things like Salesforce. I bought this thing, I think in 2017, and I still hold it. So, I mean, it's it was around 70 sixty dollars a share and that's like a 200 but anyway that's what i view it and everything like that and thank you for watching thank you